on, right, it is, uh, oh look, it is 109 a.m. Oh, I'm doing the speed limit, because uh, everyone winched me last time that I was going too fast. Well, I'm also in the slow lane, because everyone winched that I was doing this, hang on, let's just go over here. Everyone winched that I was in the middle lane. So now, tonight, I'm in the slow lane, just for all you um, lefty drivers out there, should we say. Um, anyway, look at that sign, look up there. We are heading Bristol Channel, finally. After, uh, well I'm 30, so I've been waiting 30 years to come here, obviously. Um, it's been a long old drive. So we left, we left, uh, we left my mum's ass, I picked it up. Left mum's ass, T's with me, he's holding the camera. Um, shot all the way down to near Hastings to pick, pick up our bait. So that was like an hour and 20 minutes out of our way. And then all the way back up, it's another hour and 20 minutes back, an hour and 10 minutes, give or take. And then from, from the M25 down to Bristol. Um, and I think we're nearly there. I think I've got to come off. Um, I'll bring you back. Hold up. Pause that thing. Yeah. Right, so because I was talking... So I burned it? No, it's fine. Because I was talking, I missed... I didn't miss the turning. I took the wrong turning. Um, so we're now going down the a M5. Is it the M5? Yeah. Yeah. M5, just just for a little detour. I like to see it so it's anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so, obviously, the plan is we are here chasing cod. Um, I'm owed a cod. Somebody out there somewhere owes me a cod, I'm sure of it, because I've put in some work the last few months, well, the last few weeks trying to get one. We've got fresh blacks, we've got squid, dirty squid, I've got some frozen crab, because it's all I could get hold of. I was desperately trying to get hold of some fresh crab this week, but I just couldn't get it. Um, and I didn't have time to go and get any either. Um, we are, it is Friday night, it's a nice view down there. It's Friday night, Saturday morning, whatever you want to call it. So we we should be getting there. Well, we, we'll be there in another 15 minutes. So that'll make it up past one in the morning. High water is seven o'clock. We're going to fish Seven Beach, which is pretty much underneath the bridge. Speaking of, um, which is pretty much underneath underneath the Seven Bridge um, that takes you over the Wales. We're fishing there for high tide. Now the uh, I've, I've been looking obviously all week, um, getting advice off of people and bits and bobs. So now. Where we're going to the Seven Beach is, I think you can only fish it for about two hours either side of, of the tide of our water. So that's the plan. So we're gonna get a couple of hours clip now, fish it, um, and then once we've done that, when the tide turns and starts ebbing, I will probably go to the calf because we're, we're going to place next to Shirley's calf or something. Shout out to Alex for letting us know where to go, legend. Um, so I'm probably going to go to the cafe and have some breakfast. <coughs> Sorry, I got grown up. And then um, we're going to move to a place called Lady Bay. Um, and then we're going to fish there. We're going to fish it down and back up at Lady Bay for the rest of the day. And then Kieran's coming down tomorrow night. Tonight, tomorrow, whatever. Today, yesterday, tomorrow, whatever. He's coming down later on. And uh, he's going to sort of take over and do Saturday night. I'm going on because doing a 24 hour session on top of a 24 hour session is just far too much um, as it is we've had no sleep I'm knackered we've, we've done it's, it's a three hour drive from my house to where we're going and because we had to go on our detour it's made it five and a bit hours um, so yeah already I'm hanging out of my ass, and I really want to catch a cod so I will leave you guys to it and I will bring oh, I've got new rods and reels and all sorts of new toys to show you um, one of the new my new rod is guys well, Rare as walking or spoon. Um, you just can't get them. No one sells them. There's still a few about, obviously, but nobody ever sells them. They just and I managed to get one. Well, Westy managed to give me one because he's a legend. Uh, right, uh, yeah, in a bit. Oh, sorry about the wind, but we are here. There is the Seven Crossing, the bridge that takes you to Wales. You know where they wear wellies all the time. You know, sheep, back legs. You know the crack. Um, hold up. I'm going to say that there, that bit of grass is the channel. Obviously the tide's out a million miles. I think we're fishing up there, but we've just driven down this little road um, somewhere to park for the night. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty certain where we fish is, is that way. So I'm probably going to have a wee and uh, I might go and have a little walk up there before, before I have a sleep because I'm like a little kid and I want to know what's going on. Over there, them lights on that side, that's Wales. That's mad. I just said to Tia, it's a shame he ain't got his passport because we could have gone over there for the day. 
Oh well, in a bit. So yeah, wearing the new Fish Hunter merch. Happy days, right? We're um, we're still walking. Hold up, T. Hold up. We didn't think we were going to walk this far, but um, we saw some red lights in the distance. It was down in the mud, and uh, they're walking off very, very slowly. Like, I don't know, like I was doing something I shouldn't have been. Or we caught them bait digging. I don't really know. I'm not really bothered. Sorry about the wind. Why right, take come and let's go back and get some sleep. Um, so, what we what it looks like we found, you can't see it. We are quite close to the bridge ish. There's like a channel in front of us. We've, so, we've come to this rocky park which I don't want to fish on. I definitely don't want to fish on these rocks. Because um, I don't know where I am and it's a bit dodgy. And this weed would suggest the tides come up here. So, we will get wet standing on this. Um, we're going to go back fishing along there a bit. Oh, sorry about the wind. Um, we are going to fish here, yeah, definitely along there. So there's a channel there though. There's a channel that runs right up there. It looks like it does a Yui and then goes back out into the main river. But what we have just seen, if I keep you, um, if I keep you on there and have a little jog, well oh, that's enough. I'm knackered. I'm laugh. Why did you get to my age? These youngsters. We have just we have just seen evidence, pretty pretty solid evidence of no that's a slug. Pretty pretty solid evidence of a codlin. So we know people fish this mark, not only because I've been told, but obviously there's evidence of people fishing. This is another thing. If you're exploring somewhere you've never been, it's always worth having a look around because if you think oh this might be good for fishing if there's no evidence of anyone fishing there it probably ain't but where is it see so look that's a bait wrapper which when we come up here later on and fish here we go all right so this is the evidence that is the innards oh, i'm gonna guess of a cod now i'm no expert at fish innards but it's too big to be a white in. It could be a bass, I suppose. But um, it's too big to be a white in. And there you go, look. Little wild back crabs that have been half digested. Now that to me screams codlin. It also says bass, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm hoping with cod. Because there's been some really nice bass caught out of the channel the last few days. Um, where we're heading tomorrow, like during the day to my lady bay, there was one of just over nine uh, no, just under ten pounds, nine eleven I think it was. Plus a couple of others. Again, really sorry about the wind if you're copying it. Um, so, it's going to sound bloody ungrateful, but I'd rather a six inch codlin than a ten pound bass. Now, I know that sounds like utter, utter ball poo. Um, I really want a cod. I can catch bass anywhere. All right, maybe not ten pounders. I, I probably would take a ten pounder over a six inch codlin, but I really, really want a cod. I, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but. It's cod that I want, so think cod, and you shall receive cod. What? Right. Night, night. So as I mentioned earlier, we uh, we're back now. We've had a little sleep. We're overlaid, but it don't matter because it's, the water's still not here yet. It's long, still, still quite a way out. Look, I don't, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you can't really. Um, might be able to there. Um, I've slung one rod out, my new rod, because it'll take a bit of battering. So this is the new rod. Sorry again, sorry about the wind guys, I'll do my best to keep you out of it. Um, anyone that knows, anyone that knows the only fish anywhere rods, this is the tournament match mark one, the red label. It is the most desirable one in the range, seems to be what everybody wants. Reason, reason we know this is because you just can't buy them for love nor money, like they are honestly rare as anything. So if any of you lovely, lovely lady, uh, lovely ladies, lovely, lovely people out there have, um, I've got one in the shed that you don't use. Please get in contact because I'd love a pair. Um, I was lucky getting this one, but I'd love to have a pair. It's not mint this one, and I'm not after a mint one because I only batter them anyway, but yeah, it'd be lovely to get a pair. Right, so that's my new rod. Let me show you my new reels. There's nothing really new about them, but originals, original 525s. The best reel on the planet, it won't focus because my phone's shot. Right, so tonight's rigs, today's, to be honest, the whole trip, the whole trip is going to be nothing different but this. This is going to be the way we're fishing the whole time. 
So because of the massive, massive 13 metre tides we've got this weekend, I've gone with the seven ounce Gemini long tail leads um, onto just a straight pulley panel rig. There are loads and loads of videos on how to make these on all over YouTube. It, that they are probably the easiest rig to make, I would say, in sea fishing. That it, it really is very, very simple. And then just two straight black lug onto uh, a 3 0 top hook panel, a top hook on the panel, and uh, the 5 0 on the bottom, which obviously are the, uh, the Sea Glow Cato hooks. Uh, plenty of fresh blacks. I picked up. I picked up 300. No, I didn't. I picked up 290 because that's all he managed to get. But they are lovely. They're not. They're not the biggest, but they don't need to be. When they're nice and fresh like this, they're they're, they're great. And there will obviously be bigger ones. It's just we. I got Darren to get my blacks just on the start of the bigger tides where we are. And they, with the weather, we got big southwesterlies at home. I say at home, sort of down on the south coast where he goes and gets some Dungeness, which holds the water up the beach. Therefore, he can't get to the to the better worms that are that little bit further out. So he done the best he could, which is fantastic. That water's getting in uh, just at the edge of that weed. I think I'm going to cast and I'll get over that now. So like I said, I've got one rod out. I put that out a couple of minutes ago, but I've got two. Well, I've got actually got three rods. That three rods might be going out, but T's just sitting up here, second rod. Um, he's got a pulley panel on on his first one as well, same as me. T again, two lug, and. He's just sitting up that we're probably going to put a two up flapper on that just to see just see if there's anything else about it. because they do mention they get eels and flounders and all sorts up this far so I mean obviously they'll get them all the way through the channel but with this being the sort of venue it is um, they're bound to get them so happy days right hopefully then we will bring you back to a fish not me with the ump losing gear or what have you in a bit right so all the way to Bristol um, new rod and all that even got a new coat. Cod is the main target. Codlin will do, as long as it's got a beard and it's a codlin and not a pattern, no one said how big it had to be. First chuck, and we have a cod. Listen, you're all sitting at home laughing, but I've been saying for the last God knows how many months, the codlin has only got to be six inches long. Now I'm giving, I'm giving eight on that. Let's unlock the little dude. First chuck. The yolk is bigger than him. And yes, for me, if this is the only codling I catch, if this is the only codling I catch, it was worth the drive. Because to me, I am, but look, it's got beard. That is, that is a codling. Get in. Perfection in miniature. Perfection in miniature. Right, we are going to get this little dude back, and I am going to look for his mum. In a bit. Get in. Right guys, really sorry about the wind, but I'm snagged on these bloody steps and I've had to come down. On the end of this rig, there's a lovely little codlin. I say lovely, it's probably only about a pound, but he's literally caught on the steps and I just could not get to it. Oh, there's no way I'm going down there. That water is the Bristol Channel and it is fierce today. So all the, the best thing I can do is just unclip this rig and leave it here and hope for the best. Um, the only other option is actually T. Give us the part of that rod. I'm going to try and get it off of my rod, try and try and hook it out with the bottom of the rod. No, 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 not that rod. My rod that's all set up. Right, guys, I'll be back in a minute, hopefully, with this little codling, poor little thing. In a bit. Right, so that really is a crap situation. I've now got a poor little codling down the wall, hooked on the steps. Now, although it's not ideal for me to go down there and start trying to get that hook out in the water, it's just too dangerous. You've got to be... Uh, Got to be logical about these things. All I've done is I've unclipped my rig. As soon as that tide starts to turn and go back out, I straight back down there and I'll get it unhooked and get it back. It's, it's, I'm gutted really, because it's, it's it's a bit bigger. Though it's easily double the size of the last little thing I just had. Um, but these things happen. Uh, I'm going to get my other rig on. I've just literally made up a great big squid bait with four blacks and a whole squid. Um, and I'm now going to clip that on and chuck that on out. So yeah, I will bring you back, and obviously I'll let you know what happens with the poor little, poor little codling down the wall. Um, yeah, right, in a bit. And there we go. Get in. Third cast, third cod. Well, codling. It's still not a monster, but I'm telling you now, this, oh, this trip's already made it for me. If I had to pack up and go home now, I would. After five hours driving, we fished for 
I know we've been here two hours. There's still another codling down there stuck on the wall, poor little fella, which I will go and get. Hopefully, hopefully he'll survive. Um, but I am absolutely made up. Now we've got to get T1. I mean, this is here. Come over this way a bit to you if you can. This little codling's probably, well, that's 38, maybe 42, 43. So he's a sizable codling to take home from the table, but he definitely ain't coming home. He's getting back. Right, we will uh, we'll bring it back when we get a 10 pounder in a bit. So the weather has turned properly naughty. Um, the wind is something else. I, I know you're copying it, and I'm really, really sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. The, look at the sky over there, look, in Wales. It's awful. Oh, there's, there's my rod. Um, rods are crashing and flying all over the place. I've had to stick both rods inside that railing and down in there. Um, still on the free cod, T still waiting, but no dogfish, no whiting, just cod. Where, where else can you ever say that? I've never been able to say that in my life. Never. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. And the day's only just begun, really. This, this is bonus. We wasn't even meant to be doing this bit. We weren't meant to be getting here until about 10 minutes ago. So uh, I'm so glad that I, 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 I drove down last night. I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing, to be fair. So in a bit, when we finish here, uh, we're going to drive down to Lady Bay in Cleveland, Cleveland, something, whatever it's called. Um, there's a tackle shop there. I'm going to nip in there, have a little chat with them, see what the crack is. But to be honest, with uh, with 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 the amount of time we're fishing it down, probably going to make two videos because it cause people get bored, especially with me jabbering on about a lot of shite. So yeah, I'll probably do two videos. I mean, I'm don't. This is not the end of this video by all means because there's still there's still a five pound cod out there. I've got to catch it. T's got to catch. I don't even mind if he catches it now. I've had three, I'm happy with that. I say three, I've had two and a half. The other one's still down the wall. Hopefully he's still down the wall. I mean, if he's not and he's got off, that'd be a touch, but I think, to be honest, if that was the one, if that if that fish was the first one I'd caught, I probably would have risked it just to get it up, just, just to say that I've caught one. But uh, I'd, as I'd already caught that massive one at eight inches, I was, I was happy enough with that. And then that one, I've just added to that one, a pound and a half, two pound maybe. That is the icing on the cake. So they're progressively getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Hopefully, hopefully we get a real one. Um, yeah, right, in a bit. Look, look, look. It's just down there. It's all the fish now, it's like the Medway. For anyone that lives near me, knows what the Medway is like, the upper reach of it, all these reed beds. I literally, I said to him, we have one last chuck. I packed, everything was packed up, look, all the other rods all put away. This one's put away. I didn't even notice a bite. Look. Another prime cod. A lot of you boys are watching the catch cod or the bite, catch some decent nice cod. Thinking, what's he going on about? It's tiny. But you don't understand, you know what I mean? You don't understand how happy that little fella makes me feel. The little one that was down the wall, too. You can see, you can see my rig just over there, sticking on the wall. We're going to go and get it in a minute. But the cod got off. So, to be honest, it's, it's good. It is a good situation. Um, I'm now going to go and get my rig and I'm going to chuck this little fella back. But look at that. Oh, I'm the turtle codling. Get. Oh, oh, nearly. It's all good. It's still good. Beautiful. Oh, in a bit. And here we are, guys. This is the rig that I lost earlier with that little codling on. And the reason I was never going to get it back is look, <laughs> the hook has gone right into the uh, to the concrete joint there, the expansion joint gap, whatever you want to call it. There was no way I was getting a good old sea glow hooks straight in the concrete expansion. Never going to get it back out. Never. Why? So uh, we are pretty much done here. I'm gutted though because I've still got plans now to move on somewhere else. But I've just had that cod. But tide is so far out now, really. Um, but looking up there, it looks like I'm going to have a quick ganders up there because I'm definitely coming back to this venue tonight for the high tide, I think. I've had four cod. I'd be stupid not to. I'd be stupid to try somewhere else when I know this fish here. I'm going to go because the wind's shocking. Listen. In a bit. Oh, look at this. If this doesn't look a cod mark, what does? This is Lady Bay. Just stopped at a cracking little tackle shop, Oliver's Tackle. Oliver's, I think it was called Oliver's Tackle, in uh, Clevedon. I've got to give him a shout out because he gave me loads and loads of advice. And the legend, he only had fresh peelers in the fridge. All right, that was dear, but well, listen, you don't do trips like this every day, so I've just bought some nice fresh crab. Let's have a quick look down here. Look at the state of this melt, look. Hold up, T. I don't want to go too far, the casting unlocks. 
Oh, look at that beach down there. Doesn't that look nice? Right, so basically what we've got to do... Hold on, where's he going? This has got to go down... We've got to go around there somewhere. Oh, yeah, there's a path that carries on up there. So that's where we're going. See, we're not going no further than that. Um, so, sorry guys, get back to it. I'm, I'm well excited. I'm hanging out of my ass, but I'm well excited. So, the plan now is to have a walk around this headland and there's a sea wall along there and they fish off the rocks and down and, and you can walk out on the sand. So the man in the tackle shop told me we can now fish there. From now, obviously the tide's still going out. We can fish there all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Um, so, I still don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to see how the day goes, but there was some proper cod caught here last weekend, sort of 8s, 10s, 11 pounds, uh, the fellas just told me. So, uh, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's nice to shit with it. As you can hear, there's hardly any wind. Well, you can see the water. You can see in here it's quite nice, and then out there there's a bit, it's a bit more moody. I think the wind is going to swing later, but, um, so yeah, if I, whether I go back to, whether we go back to Seven Beats tonight, where we was earlier catching them cod, I don't know. But one thing I will say is, if you want to see how we get on today, you'll have to find part two. I will upload both the videos probably within a day of each other, but this is going to be the end of this video. Um, please, if you are new to my channel, or you're old and you haven't subscribed, please just push the subscribe button. Um, merch is now available, Fish Hunter UK, it's been around some, Fish Hunter UK. Um, jumpers are 34.99 posted. And we also have beanie hats, but I forgot to bring one. I will put a picture in now. That's the beanie hat. Um, and they are uh, they are £12 posted. £11.99 posted, £12. Um, if you are wanting one, I will leave my email in the description of this video. Please email me and we will discuss payment options. Um, but other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to look for part two because we're going to go and smash some more cod from Bristol, Lady Bay, wherever we are, and we'll see you in a bit.